So my name is Ken Lau and I'm an assistant professor at, in the Department of Cell and Developmental Biology and I'm also part of the Vanderbilt Epithelial Biology Center. So our lab works on the epithelial cells which line the mucosal surfaces of your body. And what we do is we want to decipher how an epithelial tissue actually functions based upon the different cell types that make up the tissue. So for example, we work on a inflammatory bowel, bowel disease called Crohn's disease, where we are looking at how different epithelial cells can sense, um, regulate, and respond to the gut microbiome. Basic science is actually very important to our field of study. And the, the, the reason because a lot of our studies, uh, again, you know, at the tissue level, is focused on complex diseases. So what we really need to understand is the, actually, the actual uh, cell biology and molecular mechanisms that contribute to disease. And th this could be different for uh, different patients. And basic science will allow us to understand, understand those mechanisms for designing more effective therapies for, for patients. The success stories that I have in my lab is based on people. So recently I have um, two graduate students. So the first student, um, Chuck Herring, he uh, now is doing a postdoc in Western Australia. And her, his, his graduate work uh, focused on development of a software tool called pCreode. And it's you know, utilized by the community to analyze single cell data. And my second student, uh, Amrita Banerjee, uh, who recently graduated, um, so she, so her work has led to a provisional patent for leveraging different cell populations to treat Crohn's disease. So the advice for, for me, for graduate students and postdoc trainees to enter this field uh, of um, you know, single cell systems, computational biology, is that the rules of math, they don't change. They have been pretty consistent throughout history. So there, uh, um, there has been lot, lot, lots of development in different technologies, but given that the data that comes out, you need computational and mathematical approaches to analyze these data. And it is very advantageous for people to be multidisciplinary, to have an experimental as well as a mathematical background, to be able to generate the data as well as to analyze the data yourself.